Okay, this is a, a quick test of um, uh, screen. Uh, how I'm going to sort of screen capture stuff in the future. Basically, I've been going through, and I used to use uh, Cam Studio. Um, I used to use the the lossless Kodak, and but it, it gave sort of pretty huge file sizes, and it didn't really. Uh, and had sort of audio syncing issues as well and I tried um I tried using various different codecs and stuff and there's just I don't know it, it didn't work too well uh maybe it's just my setup I don't know I also tried out this uh Microsoft expression encoder it worked pretty well but it's kind of limited to 10 minutes and it only exports to WMV without purchasing it at uh at I think $200 or something like that um so uh, I've gone for this VLC streaming option, which is pretty good. I'm this is actually me now just testing some of the latency of stuff. And yeah, looks good. Uh, some video. Yeah, it plays pretty smooth. Well, I'll check whether it plays smooth. Cool, cool. And basically, um, I'm having to record the audio through here uh, just because I haven't worked out how to do the audio stuff yet. But, but effectively, it is done by opening VLC, open capture device, desktop, and capture stuff at 30 frames a second and there's a bit of spiel you have to put in here to show the pointer uh see this this is pretty handy thread just because it, it it addresses some file location issues uh basically you have to put that there as well and use uh, uh forward slashes uh so you put that in here uh, yeah. <clears throat> and this will be where your where an at like your your pointer is because it doesn't bring the pointer across with it so I've got one here in the screencast so it's my location uh, so cool and uh, that's what it's called and then I go to convert select where you want it uh, now I've been using um, I've been typing in AVI as a file extension and uh, AVI is encapsulation and that the kind of specs that match my screen uh, audio doesn't matter I suppose and then uh, start capturing and the reason I've done AVI is because uh, it works quite well in After Effects as well so I can uh, do things like edit it quite easily and uh, yeah and it's pretty smooth for some reason uh, MP4 extension that didn't work so well, but this does, so that's good. Okay, and I shall now look at this back and see if it indeed, if it did in fact work. Okay, thanks.